I got approved for weight loss surgery. How long is the process? So the first question I have for you is, have you had your first consultation with a bariatric surgeon? If you haven't yet, please remember to ask all the questions. It's your body, your health, your life. There is no dumb question when it comes to that. Ask all the questions, write them down before you go for your first consultation. Ask them if it takes longer than the first consultation, you need to make a second consultation. Do not walk out of that consultation without having all your questions answered. So after consultation, so many people, for whatever reason, they're not explaining this to you. So many people ask, how long does it take until you get your procedure either scheduled or you get to have surgery? The quick short answer is it most likely will depend on your insurance requirements. Also maybe regarding your bariatric procedure, and their program requirements, as well as availability of the surgery center or hospital setting. It will depend on your situation and no one else's. Sometimes for some people it's super fast and for some most average people have to go through some little bit of a more complex process. Also remember different plans have different out-of-pocket costs which is why it is super important to determine, talk to whoever you need to talk to, to make sure you are aware of what the insurance covers and what it doesn't, all the pieces of it, not just the surgery, all the pieces that go along with having weight loss surgery. This will help you, if you do this early on, this will help you make a more informed decision. The waiting period for most people is generally anywhere from two weeks to six months. Some are even longer. So know this going into, this is definitely one of the questions to ask early on. Also, during the initial consultation, your surgeon should be checking your medical history and any other uh, corresponding medical conditions that you may have, which may delay your surgery. I can't say it enough, remember to investigate what is covered by insurance and what isn't bariatric surgery in countries that are not covered by universal health coverage is very expensive. Sometimes if the surgery is deemed medically necessary, insurance covers majority of it. Remember to check who and what is all involved in your surgery procedure and what are the expectations before. A lot of times there's a psyche bell, there is nutrition appointments, sometimes there's classes, sometimes the program has expectations for you to purchase certain things that may or may not be covered by insurance. So just be aware, get an itemized list of what is covered, what is your responsible responsibility, and when will you know? There are times, and I have heard people go through this, that they are right up to their surgery date and they find out that morning that they're denied by surgery. So you wanna have all this information before, because heaven forbid on surgery day, do you wanna be dealing with knowing that is my surgery covered or is it not? Do not have that surgery until you know exactly how much that will cost you personally. As I mentioned, always ask all the questions, not just at your initial consultation, all along. If you need help with that, please check out my video, Questions to Ask Your Bariatric Surgeon. Mm -hmm.